All right, so we all know the story of the princess and the pea, while the musical version has a slightly different take on the classic fairy tale. Well, as a matter of fact, things get silly when the princess tries to find her true love through the tiny vegetable. And here to give us a preview of the musical is reporter Amatia Drisi, who is actually a princess herself today because <laughs> it's her birthday. Oh, yay! Good morning, birthday. princess. Good morning. Thank you. I actually wrote that for Dabs to say, uh, I, but I love it when you say it too. He's a princess to me. He's a, well, he's a princess. Yeah. No. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, Dabs. Jeez. You're a special king. Wow. Or prince, at least. This is getting <laughs> weird. It is getting a little strange. All right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on now. I'm actually here at the Bakersfield uh, Stars Theater. We're talking about princesses and princes. And right now I have a wizard joining me to tell me about Once Upon a Mattress, the wonderful musical coming to town. Wizard. Yes. How exciting is this musical? It is unbelievably exciting. We have princes and princesses and a king that can't talk, but a queen that can. Uh, probably talks a little bit too much, but the P is the secret. The P is the secret. Yes. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get off stage okay. and let them show us what they got. silliness. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> oh goodness. I think I've uh, lost an eardrum, but that's okay. Amity, we'll check the right. back I wish in I could later. sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amity. Oh. Can't take this out. How's, how's your yeah. ear doing, buddy? Ooh. Man. Is that, a, is that called a falsetto? Um, something. Wow. Right. Loud noises. 